Hey, what's going on? It's Sean Soloway, and I'm back with another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. Today, we're going to be looking at Legends Black Series Mara Jade. You can see in package, this is that cool comic box. We've seen this before with Darth Maul. Looks pretty awesome on the front. You can see an image straight out of the comics uh, on the top. You can see Mara Jade shooting there. It says, Zack. And then on the bottom, uh, there's another image of Mara Jade. Looks very cool right there. And on this side of the package, are treated to some more images of Mara Jade. It looks pretty cool. And on this side of the box, it just says Star Wars The Black Series, Mara Jade. On the back of the package, it shows you the height of Mara Jade, 5.8 inches, and her accessories. And then, of course, you get to open it, and you are treated with no window, which is a bummer. And it says... Uh, Mara Jade Legends, which looks pretty cool, and she does come with a short little write-up. Feel free to pause and read that. Without further ado, let's open this up and let's take a closer look. Boom! Mara Jade is out of the package and she is amazing. First impression, as soon as I had her in my hands, I thought, wow, this is amazing. The pins in the knees don't bother me too much. I did have a hard time standing her up like this. Uh, I was just about to give in and use a stand, but here she is with all of her accessories and she looks fantastic. I do know this is a reuse of Gianna Gia Solo. Uh, I do have her somewhere around here because she is one of my favorite figures. Uh, maybe I could see her on display somewhere. But for now, uh, I will be setting her up with Luke Skywalker. Let's put her in a few poses and see what Mara Jade can do. And here comes Mara Jade in another pose, holding her blaster with two hands. This time I wanted to film this a little bit quicker because I'm so short on time lately because of work. So I am going to use the Star Wars stand that came with, what, Luke Skywalker and Kenobi a uh, really, really long time ago. But as you can see, yeah, she's beautiful. My big, big gripe about this is her hands don't hold her lightsaber well or the blaster. And uh, again, it's all reused. I'm just happy to get the character in the line. You can see I do have her saber there on her hilt and it does fit absolutely perfect. And here's a look at Mara Jade with Yavin Luke Skywalker. And uh, she's a little bit taller than him. I'm not sure if that's accurate to the comics or not. Let me know in the comments below, but that's your look at those two. Looking pretty good. There's Mara Jade dual wielding her saber in a slightly exaggerated pose, just tweaking off, uh, showing the curves of the figure, which looks fantastic. You can see her gun is holstered. She does hold her blade, yeah, with two hands. To me, this is a great value. I'm really glad to get it in the line. Let's go ahead and pull her up a little bit closer and take a closer look at Mara Jade. You can see there, yeah, that looks fantastic. Mine. Looks like, I don't know if that's a plain blemish on the forehead or not, but yeah, the face paint on this looks absolutely phenomenal. Uh, as you can see by the hands here, their hinges are great, but either hand that you hold this saber in just doesn't look too good. Uh, it doesn't go in this hand very well, because this is obviously the trigger finger hand. Uh, but yeah, that face looks great. The saber is one of those twist and pull sabers because it has the little lines on it. So do be careful uh, when you pull that out. And as I said earlier, it hangs on her belt. Just fantastic. Uh, looks really, really good. She does have these pretty cool goggles on. Let me just zoom in on that right there. Uh, I try to move them up. It looks like they are glued down there but i'm sure you could probably get those off and put those on but as you can see the face mold looks great you can see the hair lifts up slightly the face mold just looks fantastic and uh her head only pops down about that high the hair is pretty pretty tight you can see down there uh she doesn't tilt back much but the joint in the middle is fantastic in the mid torso and then she has another double crunch. Uh, I know you guys know how this figure articulates. The belt is really, really nice because it does droop down as low as you like. And the paint apps on this are just pretty cool too. They added a little silver paint on the straps. This piece does come off if you wanted it to. You can see the detail on the back. And we've seen these legs before. The feet are a little bit of a bummer because it does make her uh, have a hard time standing. 
Uh, the gloves look really cool. I don't know if these are new arms or not. They look like new arms to me. But uh, overall, I think this is a fantastic figure. And uh, I think anybody who picks her up will definitely be happy about it. And they may end up regretting it later if they don't. Uh, oh, yeah. And the blaster does fit in her holster there pretty good. But let me just show you what I'm talking about on that blaster really quick. You'll see you can put it in her finger, but... It like pops off to the side, which just doesn't look right at all. You have to actually pull it out of the trigger uh, just slightly to actually get it to work. And yeah, other than that, I think this is a keeper. All I can really say is, you know, thanks for checking out today's video. Check out one of these videos on the screen. And until the next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.